In our previous video, we have installed iTechnology Forms Accelerator. If you didn't follow it, you may consider to watch installation of iTechnology Forms Accelerator video. Ok, assuming you already completed the installation, let's now talk about basic configuration. I will start with user permissions. To configure user permissions, open iTechnology Forms Accelerator management site and select User Access under Configuration section. As you can see, there are four levels of user permissions. Form users. Those users can use published forms according to their permissions associated with target SharePoint list or a document library. Basically, those are regular end users of forms. Form designers. These are users that can create, modify, or publish iTechnology forms. Users in form auditors have read-only access to iTechnology forms accelerator management site to view reports and see error logs. It is important to note that form auditors cannot create, modify, or even use forms unless they are assigned to form users or form designer groups and form administrators which have ultimate access to configuration of iTechnology Forms Accelerator. By default, authenticated users are members of form users and designers and site administrators are members of form administrators. You can keep the settings like this or change them the way they best fit your organization. Of course, as a site administrator, you can access SharePoint groups and give user access right there. This approach is recommended only for seasoned SharePoint professionals. If you want to access iTechnology groups, please open Site Locations menu, Site Settings, and click on People and Groups. Here you can see four groups, ITFA Administrators, ITFA Users, ITFA Designers, and ITFA Auditors. You can see that four groups we discussed earlier match one-to-one -to, -one to actual SharePoint groups you can see there. Now you know that iTechnology Forms Accelerator reuses SharePoint groups. Now let's talk about access to iTechnology Designer and actual forms. Only users who have managed list SharePoint permission and are included in Forms Designer group can have access to the iTechnology Forms Designer. Of course, we assume that the list is already integrated with iTechnology Forms Accelerator. Please note that iTechnology Forms Designer requires the user to be authenticated using Windows Authentication Mode. In other words, if you use Forms of Authentication, then user cannot create or modify form. This restriction does not apply to regular users of already published forms. Of course, once form is published, only users who have rights to add new items to the given list are allowed to add new instance of the iTechnology Forms Accelerator. Edit item permission is required if user wants to edit the instance of the form. Well, we're done with users configuration. Follow iTechnology channel for more video tutorials.